Hi, I'm Bernie Hogan, and I'm one of the uh, course instructors here at the OII. Uh, I teach a course, a four-week methods course, called Analyzing Data. This course is meant to be an early stage preparing course for people who are going to go on and do some forms of data science. Often, we place a high premium on downloading data and accessing it from the web, and then on a lot of the cool things that you can do later on, things like visualizing this data, mapping and modeling it. But there's a gap in between those. How do we clean that data? How do we shape it? How do we put it in such a form that we can do the interesting things with it? What this course offers is a bridge between such uh, some of the data that's out there in the world and our ability to analyze it. What this course will do in the end is allow people to go on to visualization courses and courses in big data analysis with a solid foundation that can enable them to do much more than they would otherwise. In the beginning of the course, we look at um, basic data cleaning and coding. Uh, then we move on to text analysis, text mining. Uh, we look at text parsing. Uh, we look at time series data. And we conclude the course with um, various uh, forms of Unicode and other formats that often trip people up. It's meant to be a handy course and a useful one. For that reason, we use the IPython uh, notebook or IPython uh, framework, which is based on Python. It works in a browser. It's really easy to use and actually helps students get up to speed very quickly. Like many of the courses at the OII, this, uh, this one assumes very little experience. However, you should have some familiarity with Python before you go into this course. Now, the good news is that in the first term at the OII, we run an optional Python primer. It's a two-session uh, series of lectures that gets people up to speed on the basics of Python that they need to program. Most students who go on to analyzing data have already taken that course or one of the free alternatives available online, such as Code Academy's Learning Python. So this course complements another course on downloading social media from the web. So in, in this course instead, we either download data very easily through uh, sites such as uh, Reddit or Wikipedia, or use some of the prepared data sets that are exemplary. And for that, I put together a suite of uh, data such as uh, tweets and another one on Facebook networks.